Hi everyone, my name's Alex Hutchinson, creative director on Far Cry 4. I'm uh, Mark Thompson, I'm the narrative director on Far Cry 4. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, and welcome to Karat, our, our, our new fictional location. So in Far Cry 4, you step into the shoes of A.J. Gale, who is returning to the country of his birth, uh, uh, initially just to scatter his mother's ashes before he gets caught up in what's essentially a civil war. Kirat is, uh, is a fictional uh, place uh, based somewhere in the Himalayas, uh, inspired by places like Nepal and Bhutan um, and a bunch of countries from that part of the world. So looking out there, you know, one of the core things of any open world game, that sort of excitement and mystique and hope of, of an open world is, you know, what is all that smoke coming from? You know, what temples are out there? What secret locations? So we've, we've, we've peppered the world with different places to find uh, uh, all of them filled with uh, loot and secrets and collectibles and all, the, all that good stuff. And of course, the, the open world of Far Cry is densely populated with a, a variety of different animals, beasts. And also that's some kind of yak. I don't even know what that animal was. Yak, I believe. Is it a yak? With next-gen fur. Next-gen fur, that's true. Individually modeled hairs. <laughs> so you see here with like uh, with the eagle, uh, you won't see it in this demo, but you can be attacked from above for the first time uh, in a Far Cry game. So we've tried really to, again to play with verticality, to have threats above and below you. And obviously you can still get involved in the ecosystem of the animals and hunt. And uh, You can throw bait now. Yes, to attract animals. Yeah, and, and stuff like the, the eagle stealing the, the burral of the goat. Like, it isn't scripted, that's just what happens at the intersection of those two different AI systems talking to each other. The goal being that uh, every player tells themselves a different story, that they get different surprises, that they have a, a different story to tell their buddies when they, they come to work the next day or go back to school or whatever. So there are a bunch of new tools in, in Far Cry 4, uh, one of which you'll see here is, is the grapple. Um, we wanted to make something that allowed you to, to, to clamber over those uh, annoying cliffs you sometimes came across in Far Cry 3, and something that would also uh, lean into the much more vertical, much more uh, uh, sort of uh, mountainous regions we were building in this game. And that, one, that was a pretty simple example, but the level designers get pretty crafty with the setup. We have these areas we're calling adventure zones uh, in the new game, which uh, will take you to places like temples, which you can see from afar uh, and force you to use the grapple in sort of really interesting and uh, uh, different ways. The auto crossbow is a new stealth weapon that we've introduced for Far Cry 4. Um, it adds a, a little more versatility than the bow did in Far Cry 3. Um, obviously it sacrifices the long range for uh, rapid fire, but it's still a, a super useful stealth weapon. So this is one of my favorite bits. This, this, if you look down when you're meleeing uh, uh, in the new game, you kick. So you can do all kinds of fun setups such as that. Kicking things is hilarious. I expect people around the world to be kicking rocks, explosive barrels, dead bodies uh, come November. Our goal really was just to provide as many tools as possible, whether they're vehicles or animals or, or weapons or, you know, goofy stuff and let people fit them together uh, any way they want. Yeah, and we've, we've snuck a few features in that fans of Far Cry 3 I think are going to be surprised by. It. Drive and shoot. Yes. So drive and shoot, obviously it's it's a bit frustrating uh, to be chasing someone forever and have to sort of drive in front of them, pull over and wait for them to get out. So now in uh, uh, in the vehicles you can drive and shoot with any one-handed weapon. And you can also do driving takedowns from any vehicle, which I really like. So this idea of leaping from your vehicle into another vehicle, do horrible things to them, boot them out the side and then, and then continue on your merry way. You can now deliver death without even leaving your seat. The wingsuit is still here and it's really cool as you see and actually when the space became more vertical it actually became more fun. The mountainous environment uh, means that there's a lot more wingsuiting to be found. And hopefully you won't get it before the middle of the game. You yes. will. Hopefully you will get it yes, before the middle of the game. Will. That's the current plan. But we are many months away from uh, watching you guys abuse us online. So here you'll get a look. Uh, uh, at, at elephants 
Elephants are, are, are awesome, probably my favorite animal in the game. Weaponized in many different ways. You can drive them into a rage, watch them smash the other characters in the world, or you can clamber on top of one and drive it through the gate yourself. My favorite animal is, is the human animal. It's very Far Cry 2 of you, Mark. <laughs> oh, it's the shark of darkness. <laughs> So co-op is a, is a massive part of the new game. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, one of our big ways of opening up the open world and letting you play any way you want. So basically when you ask your buddy to join, uh, all the solo missions turn off uh, and you're left with all of the open world toy, the outposts, the fortresses, uh, the towers, uh, all the quests to play any way you want. And all that progress will be saved uh, within your game. So you don't have to go into another mode you don't have to leave your game, and you don't feel like you're wasting your time. All right, let's do this. What do you think of the buzzer, Mark, which is a small uh, one-man helicopter? It's very red. No, but it's, it's cool, because it gives like this almost like developer perspective on the world. Like you normally, in Far Cry 3, you could never really see an outpost, or you couldn't engage with an outpost from this kind of vantage point, which is really cool. So the, the, outpo the outposts uh, from Far Cry 3 were like the template for the, the fortresses. They're kind of like bigger, better, more badass version of the outpost to, uh, more badass. to paraphrase Cliffy B. Badassitude. So imagine charging that vehicle, you know, atop the elephant as opposed to just watching it happen. We spent a lot of money on that feature. Yeah, a lot of money. Perhaps we could have put that in a video. Very right? expensive. So thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate your time and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more gameplay in the coming months. The game ships, of course, November 18th worldwide. Pre-order now for a free upgrade to the limited edition. It includes three extra story missions and a bonus Impaler harpoon gun. Pre-order now, Far Cry 4. Available November 18th, 2014.